so the last time we, uh, we got together to learn, we sort of began to introduce a uh, particular suga, so, but tonight we'll go into it more in depth, more halach lamais, actually. So off to one, it's in Kufmem Aleph, Sif Dalit. Okay, so we'll go, and I'll go through a few sifim over here. It's all revolving around the same basic uh, idea, um, just different details about it. Which is as follows. Again, until now we've been talking about like Avodizar and so on. Now the Shulchan Aruch, within that context, but it's still a little bit of a different idea. I mentioned this last time. The Pasuk says at the end of Parshas Yisroi, Loisasen iti Eloi Kesef Eloi Zav Loisasen Lachem. Don't make with me golden and silver images. So again, I mean the background is the Gemara says in Avodizar. Or Rosh Hashanah, different places, the Gemara interprets that that does not mean that there's a prohibition of making idols that we already have from Sarasa Dibbas. This is a new Chiddush, a new Pasuk in Torah. There's a prohibition of make, even if it's not for the purposes of idolatry, uh, for the purposes of decoration and so on, not to make certain images. There are certain images which are classified as Iti, images with Hashem Kibiyochal, and these images one is forbidden to make for any purpose. Okay? So that's what we're going to see in the Shulchan Aruch right now in Sif Dalit. We, 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 met, we spoke about this last time, but, uh, you know, just to get back into it. So in Sif Dalit, the Shulchan Aruch says, it's also a tzayir, tzuroiz, shemidar shechina. It is forbidden to make images of things that exist in the, uh, the dimension of the shechina. In other words, things that exist in, in Shemaim, in heaven, in the, spirit, in the spiritual world. To make uh, physical images of them, that is forbidden. Again, not because of idolatry, but just stop. It's, it's forbidden. That's what it means. Loisas and iti. Don't make images of things that are with me. What does it mean with me? It means things that are considered to be in the spiritual realm. Kigayin. So these are examples from the Gemara. Kigayin, for example, Dalit Panim, the Hadi Adadi. It's uh, the, one of the, one of the Malachim that are described in Sefer Yechazkel as, as being the ones that carry the chariot of Hashem, Kibiachal. Our malachim that are described as having four faces. Okay, one face of a person, uh, a face of an ox, a face of an eagle, and a uh, what was it? Shar, and, and a face of a lion. Those are the four faces. So, says the Shulchan Aruch, if a person makes an image of that four-faced um, you know, creature, that is considered to be us. Or again, even if it's not for worship, that's considered to be something that's iti, that's in the Madar Hashin, in the chamber of the Divine Presence. Or other types of malachim that are described over there, what they look like with their wings and the types of feet that they have, and so on. Serafim, Ifanim, Malachi Asharis, all these different types of, of angels, one is not allowed to make images of. Bechain, included in this, is also Tsuras Adam Lovada, even just the image of a human being. That's also considered to be uh, Asr. Again, not because of people down here, but because also, in Sefer Yechazkel, it describes the prophecy as. He sees the Kisya Coven and he sees an image of a human being on the Kisya Coven. We're created with Selma Lakim. So if a person makes the, the, the image of a, of a human being, that's also considered to be us. Kol Elo Asu Asaisam. All these things are forbidden to make. Afilu, there's different Kersais, Lunai, or Lugai. Even if you're not making it for service, obviously, you're making it for decoration, or you're, let's say you're making it to sell to a non Jew, and he'll do whatever he does with it. It's still us. These are things that are bad some Asu to make. Okay, that's the halacha. Now, then the Shulchan Aruch introduces us to a second halacha, which is a darabanan. Vim gai asam On a deraisa level, the prohibition is only to actually make it, whether you're going to keep it, not keep it. Loisasun iti, don't make these images. That's medraisa. Medrabanan, there's a new, there's a takana of marasayin. Vim gai asam that if a guy makes it for you, asal you're not allowed to keep it in your possession because of marasayin. This is what we spoke about last there, time. Images or statues? Well, that's what we're going to see. If it's a two-dimensional one or a three-dimensional one, that, those are the details that we're going to see. But if, if a non-Jew makes it for you, or you happen to find it, whatever the case may be, it says Maris Ayin in terms of people might think that you're serving it, and so therefore there's, um, that's Maris Ayin. And that, that you'll be asked to hold on to these things. You have to get rid of it. Okay. That's what the Shulchan Aruch says. Now, the Ramah just explains. Umiyo, however, this is all... Again, the two issues are either making it, which would be a deraisa, or keeping it in your possession, which would be darabana, because of marasayin. Again, marasayin being that other people will think that if you have a statue like that in your home, maybe they're thinking that a moment that you're bowing down to it. So those are the issues. Mio says the Ramah, in Maitzi Aysam, if you happen to find it, 
Mutarim, it's it's not usr bahano. In other words, you don't have to actually be concerned that it's a void zara, you know. So if you happen to find it, then you you don't you're not keeping it, but you just want to you know uh, you, you know you take it and you're selling it to someone else or whatever it is. You want to use it for firewood or whatever the case may be. That's fine. There's no isr hano, right? That's what we talk, what we've spoken about many times. We've seen this throughout the halachas that something that's an actual void zara, you're not have any benefit from. So that's not the concern over here. We're not concerned that the statue is an actual void zara. So for you could have benefit from it, but the issue is again either making it that's midraisa or owning it and keeping it in your home because of marasam. That's the shulchan. Bovad b'cham b'ovan shederach oiv b'cham adam, except for obviously certain images that uh, is commonplace in that particular time and place for them to be served. Then if you just find it on the street, you know you would have uh, you would have to be concerned that it's a vaydizar. Aishe yishay chachash asam adam. Or even if it's not a popular uh, idolatrous image, if there's some sort of simon on it that indicates that it was used for service, Shaz also could call it slum, and then it'll be Asr, like any image that's actually made for a Vadazar. Commission is Barbara Simon, as we talked about earlier, but we're not talking about that situation. We're talking about just a normal case that you happen to be a sculptor and you want to make a sculpture like that, or you happen you know the sculpture and the, the, the and he's not making it for any uh, idolatrous purposes. That's not, you're not allowed to make it, that's the right sign. You're not allowed to own it because of Marasai. Okay. Now, by the way, one of the questions, I'm not going to deal with this, it's a little bit of a side point, but one of the questions that the Mepharshim do deal with in the Shulchan Aruch over here is that the Shulchan Aruch, it said, like, again, he's going through the examples of things that exist in the spiritual uh, dimension that you can make images of. So it went through, like, this Amalek with four faces, right? A human face, uh, you know, uh, an ox, an, a lion, and a uh, and an eagle, and then it went through other other malachim, and then it said even a human. So the question is like, once you have the last halacha, that a human image is a problem, then what do you need the first halacha of the four faces? <coughs> One of the faces is a human being. Okay, so that's a discussion that they, the mafresh and the rishonim deal with, but. Uh, Maybe maybe a little later we'll go back to that, but that's the question. It's one malach with four faces, or each yeah. has. Oh, no, it's it's a certain type of malach. I know the cat. The, the shulchan is telling us different categories of malachim. There's one it's type of malach with four, four, four faces, right? Exactly, and then there's other malachim. Again, they're all dis- they're all described. So that, you know, you do the best you can. Uh, t- you know, in terms of as a sculpture, as a sculptor, you know, to to copy what it says in, in, in the Navi, which you're not allowed to do. Which you're not allowed to do. Okay, so now the shulchan aruch then goes on to qualify. Uh, which Isaac was referencing, two-dimensional, three-dimensional, what's the deal? So it's like this. The Shulchan Aruch says, When is this all true? When is this an issue? Bit by letness. Bit by letness. This is all true when the image that you're making is three-dimensional. It's sticking out. It's, uh, it's not two-dimensional. But if it's not three-dimensional, if it's two-dimensional, just flat. Like you're weaving... Let's say there's an image that's woven into a into a cloth, or it's painted on a wall with paint, so it's only two dimensional. Then there will not be an issue. It's not going to be an issue. It's only an issue if it's a three dimensional uh, image. If it's two dimensional, not a problem. Okay. Now the Shulchan Aruch introduces us. It's interesting how we, how we, the order he does this. Now the Shulchan Aruch introduces us to other images where, which also fall into this this pasuk again. Until now, we've seen things that exist mamish in the spiritual realm, like malachim. And now the Shulchan Aruch introduces us that there are other things that physically exist in the physical world, but also included in this pasuk of things that are considered to be servants of Hashem on high that we can't make images of, which are namely the sun, moon, and stars. Okay, the tzuras chama uluvanu bekechavim, making an image of the sun, the moon, and stars. Aser, it's also included in this midraisa again on a biblical level. To make it, and a maris ayin issue of keeping it, bein by letes, bein shekas. Hmm. And what's mach, what's more more chomer when it comes to the sun and the stars is that it's also even if it's two dimensional. The reason for that, as the Gemara explains, is because when 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 we see the sun and the stars, it, it looks to us as two dimensional. So even though we know obviously it's three dimensional, but our perspective of it is that it's two dimensional. So even just making a two dimensional image is going to be a problem. Hmm. That's the shulchan aruch. Now says the Shulchan Aruch, there is one example, one case, which uh, is mutter, to make sun, moon, and stars. And nameless Lamed, if you're making it for educational purposes, lahavin ulahiris, to understand and to teach, kulan mutaris, then 
these images are mutter, I feel about this even if it's three dimensional. Mm-hmm. Okay, now the reason the source of that heter is interesting. It's a Gemara in Rosh Hashanah and a Gemara over this art. The Gemara says that Rabbi Gamliel was the Nasi. And as the Nasi, one of his jobs to take care of was to be in charge of uh, his Kiddush HaChadosh. So you would have Aiden come in and testify that they saw the new moon. So in order for them to be able to explain what they saw, because it's hard to describe in words what you saw, so the Gemara says Rabbi Gamliel would have charts, you know, a, uh, models of the moon with all different phases and so on. He would ask, did you see like this, did you see like that, did you see like that? That's the Gemara says. So the Gemara has a kasha. It says, Le Sassanita, you know, let him make images of the moon and so on. So first the Gemara tries, try, the Gemara really gives gives um, two suggestions, two answers. And we'll see both answers is how we pass him. The first <clears> answer <throat> of the Gemara is that he didn't make it. A guy made it. He had a, a, a guy make it, uh, and then he bought it from a guy. So there's no issue with, with actually making it. Ask the Gemara, yeah, but what about Marasayin? Right? There's an issue of Marasayin of owning it, even. So says the Gemara, since it was, since it's the Nasi, and the Nasi is sort of a public property, his house is a thoroughfare for all people, Aiden were coming in constantly, so it's considered to be a, 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 a Rishasa Rabbim, and by Rishasa Rabbim, there's no issue of Marasayin. In other words, Marasayin is only an issue of I am, maybe I'm going to be Chayshid, you as an individual do something wrong. I'm not Chayshid, the Tzibur of serving of a desire. And anything in Rav Gamliel's house is considered to be owned by the Tzibur, and therefore it doesn't fall under the issue of Marasayin. So that's one way the Gemara deals with Rav Gamliel's case. Again, the Daraisa we avoid by just saying that he didn't make it, a guy made it. And the Marasayin issue we avoid by saying that it was, it's the, it's, it's the Rabbin, since it was in the house of the Nasi. The second terrace of the Gemara is also a way to solve both problems, is that we, the Gemara says, based on specific Pesukim, that this prohibition does not apply if the images are there for educational purposes. And since over here it was made, let, let's say Rabbi Leo made it, the Imamish made it himself, but it was made for the purposes of Edom, using it for Kiddush HaChadosh, so that's not a problem. That's what the Shulchan Aruch is quoting over here. Then Himmel Islamid, if these images are made for the purposes of education, lahavin, lahiris, to understand, to learn Kiddush HaChadosh, and to teach, and so on, then kul mataris, then it's going to be mutter. The sun and the moon and the stars will be mutter. Malachim will be mutter if you need it for some educational purpose. I feel about this, even if it's three-dimensional. That was the case of Rabbi Mulil. That was the, that's the second answer of the Gemara, right? And now the Ramah quotes the, the first answer, that the Yesh Matirim, another heter that, you can, that, that, we, that we have from the Gemara, Bishal Rabbim, that if it's owned by the Rabbim, the Leke Cheshada, there's not going to be Mara right? Because that's also based on the other answer of the Gemara. Now, by the way, just again, a little, a little side note on the side, there's a big question amongst the Paiskim whether this heter of L'Hislamid, for educational purposes, like what does that mean? Mm-hmm. In the case of the Gemara, it was, it was absolutely necessary education in terms of like Yiddish right? I live in a lot of Torah, right? So that's for Torah. The question is, what about if you have a, you're, you're a science teacher in school in order to give over, you know, to explain the solar system, you want to make a model of the solar system. Like, is that, no, if you think about it, making a model, you know, I, I, anyway, you're not going to, it's not going to be the size, right? That's obviously not, you know, but making a representation. Rendering. That's yeah. by rendering, even if it's two-dimensional of the sun and moon and stars. Now we're talking about making a three-dimensional thing. That's for sure going to be a problem. So if you want it, so, but, but you're doing it for educational purposes. Does the Gemara mean specific education in terms of Kiddush HaChadosh? Or it just means any time that's for the sake of understanding the nature that Rabbanu Shalom made, that's also Mutter. That's a big debate in, in the play scheme. It's really, um, it's not clear. Uh, again, you'll have people, Lakan or Lakan. That's something to, uh, to consider. Is this also, oh, sorry, yeah. is, somebody, does this also include like actual photos, like real pictures? Oh, so that's photos. a good question. It's a good question. So it, it's interesting. I, I just saw today, there's a tshuva from the Minchas Yitzchak about that taking a, yeah, I'll be honest with you, it's, 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 it goes back before, you know, to actual, when there was such a thing as like real cameras, you know, mm-hmm. with actual film yeah. and so on. So the question that was asked to him, what about taking a picture of, I think the, specifically it was the picture of the sun. This was someone that was involved in, uh, in researching things like that. I was taking a picture of the sun. I didn't, I didn't fully understand what the Shakotari was about because it had to do with, with how the image of the sun is, ref, is, is sort of imprinted whatever, on the film, where it seems that it's actually like, like a dark, like 
it, the light doesn't appear on the film, it's actually the dark. Right. Contrast. It's, it's the reverse, yeah. It's, it's, it's something it's like with that. The, with, 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 yeah. so, so, the, so you don't see the light, you see an actual black and around it is light. So that was, so in that context, uh, he said there's definitely what to rely on to be Mako because, you know, it's not, <laughs> the it's, it's, not, it's not the representation properly. But what you do see from the old shuv is in theory, let's say not the sun, let's say the moon or, or uh, things like that. It, it, to, to make a pic, to take a picture, would also theoretically be an issue. Now, bear in mind that's talking about where there's an actual photograph, you know, a, a mamushis that, that actually is produced. Digital, digital. Are you talking about, right, the digital, or let's say on the computer you want to make a digital uh, image or uh, with uh, graphics, whatever it is you want to make it, that, okay. that you could definitely make the <laughs> argument that that's not real. There's nothing there. It's not, uh, you know, even we're talking about two dimensional, but at least there's something. That you could it's feel, much as right? I'm right. talking about the. It's just I don't even know what it is. Uh, one zero zero one. Like it's not. It, it doesn't necessarily have a malicious, so it wouldn't necessarily be a problem. Now, <laughs> by the way, there's, there's, there are a few other conditions that some of the places can bring down. We'll speak about this soon, but um, um, okay, we'll, we'll see about some of the details. So let's get through some of the more halachas. Picture of a rebel, a picture of a rebel, technically the picture of a person. So, so, so that, that's we're gonna we're gonna have to figure that out. So let's see what we have so far is again. When it, when it comes to, well, we have a distinction so far. What, what do we know already? What we know is that, and again, on a derisive level, there are certain images which are a problem to make. For, I mean, for us, let's, let's, a human, a human uh, image is a problem. Sun and the stars is a problem. But there's one important difference. A human being has to be three-dimensional. It uh -huh. has to be three-dimensional. Sun and the stars, even two-dimensional, will be an issue. The, so far, the only heter that we found is if it's for education, I'm not you know, again, it's unclear how large that hetter is, but that's one hetter. And the other hetter we've seen is in terms of the Darabonon for the Marasayan, if it's Bishal Rab. That, that's what we know so far. Now, based on this, in Sif Hay, the Shulchan Aruch just now applies what we've learned to a particular case. So there's nothing new in this, but it's just an application. The Shulchan Aruch says, like, it's Tabas. In those days, they had. Um, uh, signet rings, right? You had rings that you would uh, like yes. to stamp, uh, to seal. So tabas Let's say you have a ring, and it has a a a, a seal on it with a image shutzuras adam, an image of a person. Okay. Now, if, by the way, if you think about it, an issue that maybe you could think of is like when you have coin, right? Quarters, nickels, mm -hmm. dimes. It has mm -hmm. face of it has a, fa a, ra a raised face. Mm -hmm. It's three dimensional. It's a raised face. It's not two dimensional. It's a raised face, and uh, so you're not making it. You know, it's, it was, I guess if, if you're printing, you know, if you're making, you know, money, then that could be an issue. Or even owning it should be more science. So these are things we'll, we'll have to talk about these details. Okay, so we're going to see about this. Should that go maybe into the Rabu component? That it's oh, uh, yeah. So we're going to see about that. This is very good. So we're going to see. So let's just get through some of the, the halachas. So it says like this: Tabas sheyeshu lechaisam. Again, so if you have a ring with a you know a chaisam on it. Shutzur Sodom and ends the image of a person, a raised image. So says the Shulchanach, Im Haisat Surber Lettuce. Now, if the ring has a raised image on it, so Asr Lanich, then you're not going to be able to, to keep that ring, right? Because that ring is going to be, you might not have made it, but it'll be Mar Zayn to own it. Umut but the imprints that you make will then be okay, right? Because if, it's, if the image is, is, is sticking out on the ring, mm -hmm. then the image that you produce by, by, by is going to be indented, right? And that's not a problem. The, again, the issue is only if it's sticking out. If it's flat or going in, not a problem. So the ring itself would be an issue, but the images that are, you're produced by, by pressing with the ring, that'll be mutter. And now it says the Shulchan Aruch, the reverse. Uh -huh. the said, Sir Shaka. So let's say the ring that you had had an image of a person, but it's in, it's mm -hmm. going in, so then, then you'll be able to keep the ring because it's not an image that's, uh, that's protruding. But, but you won't be able to use it because by using it, you'll be producing a three-dimensional image. And that would even be, theoretically, a derisive problem because now you're actually producing a three-dimensional image of a person. Because the, the, the seal that you're producing is going to be a three-dimensional sticking out image of a person. Okay. Um, fine. That's what the that's what the Shulchan Aruch says. Now the Shulchan uh, in, in Sif Vav, uh, Rama also just just adds. And again, uh, there's uh, the Maris Ayin, you know, the Maris Ayin issue of of the 
again, this, uh, the, the, the ring that's going in and you're using it to produce a three-dimensional image, so you're not going to be allowed to produce that midraisa. And says the Ramah, and if someone else produced that for you, you won't be able to keep it because of my son. So it's a similar idea. If I feel chasim, like other kicham, let's say a guy used the ring to push it down, so that would also be, be an issue. Also, a so you're not going to be allowed to keep it. For what then, Bishar Tzuras, this is true, says the Ramah, for a human image, and it'll be true for any of the other images that we've mentioned before, Malachim, uh, things like that, or a sun and moon and the stars also, that, that, it won't, that it won't make a difference if it's sticking out or not. Uh, either way, it'll be a problem. Okay. Now the Shulchan Aruch and Sifav um, uh, continues with this. Uh, the Shulchan Aruch says like this. So, so far again, we've had images that are a problem to make and a problem to own. Human, humanoid images, malachim and so on, sun, moon and stars, b'chulu. Says the, says the Shulchan Aruch and Sifav, Tzuras ha-behemes, chayis, v'oifes, v'dagim. However, when it comes to images of animals, Right? Again, animals, uh, domestic, not domestic, birds, fish, and so on. Tzuras ilonis for the shayim, trees, vegetation, of kids of them. Mutter, lots of rice that, there's no issue at all. The issue is only, again, images that, that are considered to be eating with Hashem, either on a spiritual plane or at least in, in, in the, you know, in, in outer space, uh, above our, you know, plane of, uh, of, of existence. But these things that are down here, just simple animals and so on, that you'll be allowed to produce. I feel like it's terrible at this, even if it's sticking out three dimensional, it's not going to be an issue to sculpt uh, an elephant or uh, whatever the case may be. That'll be fine. Okay. Finally, in Siv Zayin, and then after Siv Zayin, we'll get to some of the halach lamais, what that comes with this and the issues that come. So in Siv Zayin, we have uh, another hetter. Yesh Mish Oimer, the Shulchan Aruch quotes, there are those that say, even though he quotes it as there are those, um, sometimes you find this in Shulchan Aruch that usually when the Shulchan Aruch says Yesh Mish Oimer, it because, it's because there are those that disagree and he's about to quote those that disagree. Mm-hmm. But sometimes he just goes, there are those that say, because not necessarily because there's a dissenting view, but just happens to be not everyone said it. doesn't mean that people disagree, but uh, so Yesh Mish Oimer is one of those examples. He doesn't quote any dissenting view, but Yesh Mish Oimer, there are those that say, Shaloi asu b'tzuras adam the dark kind, let's say uh, a human form, or a dragon, which is a reference to an earlier halacha, which we're not going to go into now. But the human form that we've been talking about until now, which is a problem again to make or to own, um, if it's three dimensional. Shaloi asu b'tzuras adam the dark kind. This problem is only el davka b'tzuras shlema, when it's only the full, the full form, the kol evereha with all of its limbs. In other words head, torso, feet, the whole humanoid form. Like a Michelangelo. Huh? Like a Michelangelo. Or something like that. Yeah, like a real statue. Right. That would be, be a problem to make it or to own it. Avot tzuras roish, let's say a bust, right? Tzuras roish, let's say you have a head, right? I guf beloi roish, or the opposite of a bust, right? The body without a head. Ein basho misr, that's not going to be a problem. Loi b'maitzai, not for finding it, it's not to own it. There's no more sign with that. And not to actually make it itself. And that is Tak of the Minute. Okay, so that's the Minute. So that's what the Shalom is saying. Is that the dissenting view? The, no, so this is, so he quotes it as a Yish Mishaymer as if there are those that disagree, but he doesn't quote anyone that disagrees. Now, the truth is, to be fair, the Shach, uh, the Taz as well, maybe? Yeah, the Taz also, they do bring that there are Shitas that disagree with this, that even if it's not a full uh, form, if it's just a. Uh, uh, just a bust or so on, that, that'll be a problem as well. Halach Lamaisa, though, um, most Paiskim will definitely rely on the Shulchan Aruch, the Shulchan Aruch quotes without any dissenting view. That'll be mutter. The only issue is if it's a full form. So, so okay, so look, fine. Those are basically the, the halachas that we have. Now, one other heter um, for this that it's Kadai to know, if you take a look at um, uh, the Shach and Sif Kadm Chav Zayin. Which is going back to um, <laughs> it's going back to Sif Hay. I think it was Sif Hay. No, uh, going back to Sif Dalad. I'm sorry, the end of Sif Dalad. So the Shach, um, no, I'm sorry, not not the end the end of Chaf Hay. Again, Shach, the end of Shach Sif Kadim Chaf Hay. So we hear the Shach uh, comes up with a hetter. It's interesting. He doesn't quote this from anyone. This is a hetter that uh, that he that he that he believed in. It, it's it's. It's fundamentally based on the final hetter of the Shulchan Aruch of a bust being okay, 
right? That you need a Tzura Shlema. But the Shach says like this, Venira, it seems to me, the cult Tzura Stasrin and all these images as well that we're saying that are us, are again, like two-dimensional, two-dimensional, so on. Ena Masurim, El B'Tzura Shlema Mamish. This is only true when they're complete. What do I mean complete? Kegoin, Tzura Adam B'Shtei Nayim, B'Chaitim Shalim. Not a profile. It has to be, uh, let's say you're talking about a face, a face of a person. Uh, it has to be, as you see the person, uh, yeah, face to face. Just the profile of a face, you forget if, even with a whole body, right? If it's just like a profile of an entire body, that that will not be a problem. It has to be, whether it be the head or the entire body, as you're seeing the image face to face. So that's what the show, that's what the shach says. Avoloi chatzi atzir, but if you're only seeing half, in other words, kederach ktsasim atzir, like you find by some painters that they're painting in profiles. Tzad echashots are only one half of the image. In other words, like the profile, the zayin us are nearly that. So, that seems it's not like a three sixty view of that person. Like like even the back of the head should be visible. So no, so it's oh. interesting. So the the, the the shach will concede that you don't have to have a three sixty view because, mm-hmm. like, for example, the case of the shulchan aruch with the the signet ring, that's not three sixty. Right, right, and that that's clear that that's a problem. So, but it has to be the whole. But it has to be the whole front the facing. Whole front, front facing. It might, right. So, that, so we have two atarim. It has to be front facing, but with two basic atarim. Right. Number one, hatter that the Shulchan Aruch himself brought down, full body. Number two, hatter from the Shach, that even if it's the full body, it has to be uh, front facing, not a profile profile image. Okay. That's basically all the atarim we have from Shulchan Aruch. Okay. So, so some halachal examples and cases that come with this. First, well, let's talk about, um, okay, I, I mentioned before having money, right? Let's say you have, you have money. Now, uh, let, let's say you have, you know, paper money. So I, I can't think of it right now. The face of George Washington and so on is, it's a profile or it's facing you? It's a profile. It's a profile? No, no, no. Uh, I know the coins, it's a profile too. So here on a 20, uh, oh, okay. It, it, it is so that's that's facing technically, but it, it is angled off to the side, so technically can't you see here. Okay, what interesting, is, but it's probably it? close enough. Uh, yeah, that would be John close enough. Oh, so that oh. For, when it comes to the, so that so let, let's break it down for a second. You're not making the dollar, so Midrai said there's not going to be an issue. At most, what's going to be the issue? Our sign. Okay. So first of all, that's not a Bechlal an issue. Why? Because first of all, as we saw. For a human picture, it has to be three dimensional. That's two dimensional. Aleph. Coins, though, is three dimensional. It's sticking out. It doesn't say Shulchan Archa has to be sticking out a tremendous amount. At any level, it's still sticking out. So, what will be the header of, of having a coin uh, quarter in your pocket? So, then you would have the two at theorem. Number one, it's coin only is a raised. The coin is raised. Uh-huh. The coins are raised. The coins are raised. Yeah. So that, that you don't have the header, but you'll have a header. Number one, it's not the full body. It's only a bust. Number two, it's only a profile. Okay? That would be, those would be the two at the end. Now, but there is one issue, which is interesting. It's relatively, Rishayim and Achorin don't, early Achorin don't deal with this, but it's modern times, which is dolls. Let's see, if uh, girls want to buy a Barbie doll, doll whatever the case may be, it's Mamasha. Think about that for a second. It's mm-hmm. a full, full image, full body, full tsura, three dimensional. Now, this, you know, theoretically, you would have a major issue if you are the manufacturer of dolls, because then your mom is, that, that could be derisive. For the most part, none of us are probably manufacturing dolls, right? But if you own a doll, then you have a Marasai issue. So, so what do we do with that? So now let's try to tackle the Marasai issue, okay? Now, the most obvious way to deal with it, not the classic attempt that we actually have from Shulchan Aruch and the Shach don't apply to a doll. That's why you'll find, I mean, maybe you have this, like, you know, you heard of such an idea of, like, you know, like your uh, Alta Zaidi, that they would break the nose of the doll if they, mm-hmm. if they had one, right? Why? It's to avoid this issue. Not the issue of making a tzur, they're buying it from the store, but of owning it because of my sign, they would make it imperfect. And once it's imperfect, it's not the full the full picture, the full tzur. The tzur shlame, I mean, it has to be, like, Clearly identifiable fingers and, and or toes or anything like that. So the truth is that, that is a mach like this. So he's the shot. What he said is it has to have every single aver. I have like a Michelangelo. A so, that right. so, a Michelangelo. So, so there is there is. I think it was. I think it's the Taz. One of the Achrayim over here do make that point that he's not sure. It could be. The question is yes. The thing has arms 
and legs. Like it, def- it definitely has to have the basic, the basic, you know, structure. Uh, structure of a person. Does it have to have five fingers in each hand? Yeah, Does it have to have ten toes? Like a mannequin would be a problem. Huh? Like a would be a problem. It's so, so in theory, yeah. So in theory, stick figure. It's just a good stick figure. It's a very good stick. Figure. Well, right, depends on the mannequin, but some mannequins are really detailed. But if it's not, so, so that's that's one of the questions. By the way, this is um, wax structure. Wax so. museum. Well, wax museum. Wax museum. Yeah. yeah, these are these are issues cool. again. Let's say for everything like this, really yeah. Cool. yeah. Yeah. Now bear in mind again. This is not because it's, other, it's being other produced other for other Vizar. This is Be'etzim. Be'etzim, you're not allowed to make or own. Not to do with Avodah Zarah. No, it's not. It's not be, well, we'll see, we'll see a little later on. It might have something to do with Avodah Zarah. But the Pashtas, it has nothing to do with, uh, you know, the Marasayin is because we're, there's a concern that people will think that you're, that you're serving it. But Midraisa, the issue is just... Uh, it's a chart. It's a chart. They think that you made it. So that, that's something that Kharim will deal with. The, the, the maskana is that that's not the concern. It's interesting, why not? That's not the concern. The issue of Marasayan is that they think, people will think that you're going to be serving it. Mm-hmm. Now that's going to come into play. <coughs> it's so not really true. Well, well, well. So he, here's the Nakuda. When it comes to Marasayan, when, when you're dealing with a situation of Marasayan, mm-hmm. and like sort of everyone knows, like everyone knows that it's not an issue, so does it still apply? Does it still apply? Again, let's go back to the case of the dolls. You're buying a Barbie doll from the store. No one on planet Earth thinks <laughs> nowadays that you're actually serving it. It's, it's, so, so, but, but technically, it says in Shulchan Aruch that you're not alone because of Mara sign. So can we avoid it? So the general rule is as follows. Whenever you have a Takana Midrabana that was made for a specific reason, and that reason no longer applies. So it, whether the Halacha changes because of that, is dependent on how the takana was made. If the takana was made that woven in the the text in the um, you know the the when it was on the books, the reason for the takana was was part of the the text of the law. Then the then the fact that that reason was was woven into the halacha is in order to allow changes to take place if the reason falls apart. But sometimes the reason is just the reason, but it wasn't necessarily part of the actual takan. Okay, so in this case, in other words, so in this case, it's also because of Marasana, it's also to keep, because of, because of the concern, people will think that you're bound down to it. The question is, that because of, was that sealed, was that, was that woven, was that uh, part of the takan itself, or was that just the, the, the secret conversations of the Kham in the back room, you know, and then they come out and tell you what the halacha is. Or when they came out and tell you the halacha, they told you the halacha with the reason. It's very, it's very often difficult to know because, you know, how do you know when, that, when it was like that? One of the telltale signs, however, is, is if you could find from Chazal a heter for Maris Ayin in a situation where the reason doesn't apply and you see Chazal are willing to be mako, then already, then already you see that it must be the reason was woven in the Takana and it won't be a problem. So that's the example that many places can point to is that we saw from the Shulchan Aruch by the, based on the Gemara with Rabbi Gamliel that the Gemara says one of the reasons why he was allowed to have those images of the moon is what? Is because it was made by a guy. So there's no Bedaraisa issue of making it. Says the Gemara by Ivor of Mar Sain. Says the Gemara is Rishas Rabbim. It's Rabbi Gamliel's house. No one's going to be Cheshit the Rabbim of having a Vodizar like that. Oh, okay. What do you mean? I, I thought it's a like plug. Mara sign finished. But the answer is no. What you see from that Gemara is that the Chacham, in this halach of Mara sign, they were willing to deal with the reality of whether or not people are actually going to, if there's any legitimate real concern about Mara sign anymore. So once you see that in play, so now many places can will say, therefore, when it comes to buying a Barbie doll, like there's no, there's no, no, no reasonable person would ever consider that there's an issue of, uh, of a bizarre going on of here. So male and Mara Sain would not be would not be a problem. Yeah. Is that that that's the heter of Rabbi Shal Rabin, or the heter is just that like who are you gonna to point to? It's it's Shal Rabin. Who's gonna to point to and say is being is, is No, so the way the way the Rishon explained it is that it's not it's not that there we can't it's not that there's no one to blame. You can blame uh, the Tzibar. I mean someone uh, someone is you know, someone someone would put that there, you know what I'm saying? So the the issue is that no one would blame the Tzibar, right? In other words, so it's not that there's no one to blame. There, there are those to blame. There are those people that if you if you were going to blame someone, there's who to blame. But we're not going to blame the tzibur. We're not going to be chayish. We're not we're not going to be concerned that someone is going to be chayish the tzibur. 
of having it. So the, the, obviously now that when you're buying a, a doll from the store, you're not the tzibur. But again, what we do see from that halacha is that the marasayin in this case is malleable. It was not it was not made in a concrete way, unchanging. The the reason behind it, which is the practical concern of marasayin, was woven into the details, into the halacha itself. So it becomes uh, malleable because of that. So if situations arrive arise where there's no issue, then it won't be won't be an issue. That's in terms of buying dolls. And there is, by the way, that that's all in terms of the marasayin. If you're the one producing dolls, right? Or, by the way, another issue would be Amir La'akum. The Allah of Amir La'akum, we always associate with Shabbos, right? That if you can't do Malach on Shabbos, you can't tell a guy to do it for you. But the Allah of Amir La'akum is true in all cases. Anything that you can't do, you can't have a guy do for you as well. So if there's an Isser Midaraisa of producing a doll, not because of Mara Sain, it's an Isser, Isser Midaraisa of producing a, a sculpture like that, right? You can't. You can't have a guy do that for you. Yeah, these types of things. So if you if you have a business like that, is on is on the same criteria of creating a full mold. Say it again. The Islam the rice is the same. Yeah, no, it would it would have to fall into these categories: full image, not a profile, but you know, but but under those conditions, you're not allowed to do with rice. And then you wouldn't be allowed to have a guy do it for you. Most of color also assuming, right? I mean, uh-huh. that's virtual, or that's only about uh, consumption. That's something. There is there is other issues with owning businesses of us because there's an isra hana of having benefit that's from us This that's is that's an isra maisa. Right. So, but telling a guy to do it for you is going to be a problem. Is, is it a vay desar? No, again, it's not a vay desar. So then, why is there isra hana for for the guy to be able to do it? No, no, not an isra hana. Mir because mir laakum is a general halacha, which is if I if there's an if there's a maisa I can't do, I can't have a guy do it for me. Even though there's usually no idea of shlichas by a guy. L'chumra, there's shlichas. So shlichas are like in terms of doing it there. There is one hatter, though, that the Achrayim bring down. It's a little bit of a stretch, and it's a chiddish, but it is what it is. It's brought down in the name of Maharit, which is already an early Achrayim. But he comes up with a chiddish. Again, with Maris Ayn, it's more manageable. It's it's been and it's just like practically no one's going to be concerned. You're talking about the rice, though, it's much more. So the Marit gave a chiddush. He said that this that dolls are fundamentally different types of objects than the images that the Shulchan Aruch is talking about. The the, the lush of the Marit is again yeah, I don't have it in front of me. The language is something like since dolls are they're they're not made to Last, they're not made to last. They're made. It, it, listen, it's not like it's not like a, a plastic cup where it's like a one use. But we understand that you know that his language is that kid that the, the kids take it and they they go with it in the garbage and the ashp and the zevel. So mm-hmm. like it, you know, it's only a matter of time till it's disgusting and it falls apart. It says the marit again, not because of the, it, it not, not because it's it's like not marasayin. It's fundamentally classified as a different type of object. It's the type of object. That the Torah says of Lisas Miti are Choshava uh, forms. What specific type of forms? Okay, sun, moon, stars, humanoid, and so on. But at least they have to be Choshav. When you're dealing with a doll, it's Be'etzim not Choshav because of its, it's because uh, you know going in that it's, 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 made, it's disposable on some level. So, that we're, so he says it's not, it's not classified in, in, in these categories, and therefore it would be Mutter. Forget, forget Marasai, it wouldn't be an issue. Even Midrash, it wouldn't be an issue to me. It's a Chiddush the Marit. Yeah, it's a cool one. It's a cool one. And who do dolls are different? Because it's just a, a who do dolls come as like, I have a lurking girl. This is what they call a who do doll. That's a real. That, 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 that's not because of that. That's not because of that. That could be, I'm not sure I don't know exactly what that is. It's, it's basically just a representation of a of a of another human. person. And they do certain things to it in order to sort of like mimic. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what that would be called over the Zara. It might be related to what we're going to see soon. Can you see the obvious? Can you see that? Our sign is that. That you actually created it, which would be a real answer. Yeah. And therefore, it's not Mark Sainz, but Rabbi Zara. So Mark Sainz, you created it. Yeah, you created it. And so that's what Stephen suggested. It's so commercial that no, you didn't create it. Right. Create so that's what Stephen suggested. That the the, the, the mice, uh, th- that is a suggestion that someone's going to make. You have to know why. But for some reason, the Rishonim have proof uh, from Cheshbonis that it's a yeah. it's a Mark Sainz of Rabbi Zara. Either way, listen, Mara Sain is going to be avoidable, like like we said, it's not an issue. Right, so once, the, once the issue comes on, on yeah. the Isar, then the... Then right, and it'll be automatically, yeah. Uh, and that's not the... Uh, you didn't create it. Right. Even like a Hasan Saif, it was like a type of place that says, like, you know, you know, once there's a lock, you don't yeah. change, 
would he would he have? Yeah, no. This is a classic. This is a classic. He would rule. change on this. It's not like a, yeah, yeah. This is a classic rule. Again, if the reason was woven into the statute, then he, he, yeah. and that's cla- yeah, that's classic. I mean, yeah. This is why you'll find in Shulchan you find this that sometimes you know the certain situations that you know the the, the situation changed, so the reason doesn't apply. The read the halacha falls away sometimes not. And it depends on that. The Chal Yisrael type of thing. That, I mean, so that's also, that's, that's, that's one of the discussions in those that are Matir Chal Yisrael. Lamaisa, that Tehran for Chal Yisrael is obviously not for now, but it's not because of this, but that is one of the svaras that some early Achorinim used. Ramesha, that ends up famously giving a for Chal Yisrael, is not from that. It's so other Cheshbonites. Yeah, it's other Cheshbonites. But, uh, but that is a, yeah, that's a story. Like that, whenever you deal with Darabonans, that's always the first, one of the first things to think about. Is the reason woven into the halacha, or is it just behind the scenes? If it's just behind the scenes, then it's not going to be able to affect halacha lamaisa if things change. But if it's woven within the halacha, then, thing, then that, that's the reason why they wove it in, is that it should, then if the situation changes, things change. Okay, there's one the other quality, example. The quality yeah. of, of the doll make any difference? In other words, you mentioned Mattel or Martin. Or Porcelain. Yeah, like those are real. Like, like those. Yeah, they, they have a real image. I know. Like, I know. Yeah. Talk American Dream. American yeah, Girl. those are, those are. They're not, they don't really look like real kids. Or like a real, I mean, it has. Well, why, why not? I mean, because it looks like a fake. Yeah, it doesn't have a version. Yeah, so it doesn't have, doesn't say, you it's don't have to be a good sculptor. Yeah, you don't have to be a good sculptor, but it has to be, yeah, you don't have to be, be, a sculptor, it has to be the, the, the truth is, this is actually a good trans, a good um, uh, transition yeah. to the next part, which is, until now we've been talking about some of the images, which are the human images, oh. those malachim, but that's not so practical. Sun, moon, and stars. Mm-hmm. Okay? So now, in, in terms of, of owning, let's say, Let's say you want a painting of uh, Sun, Moon, and Stars, whatever it is. So, again, there's, there's the rice and there's the Rabbana. The Rabbana, which is Marasayan, again, we already went through the Marasayan. Nowadays, it's not going to be a concern. No one's really being chayshed you of serving these things nowadays. So, it's not there for buying the doll, it's not going to be But here's the issue making pictures of Sun, Moon, and Stars. Now, <clears throat> as a painter, that could be an issue, right? Um, also, what's interesting about her to deal with is what about allowing kids? Kids draw pictures all the time, right? Mm-hmm. They draw a sun, mm-hmm. little, you know, sun and mm-hmm. rays coming out mm-hmm. of it, right? So, for, so again, you're going to tell us, so the kid is, is not a bar chiyuva, <coughs> but as a parent, the person has an obligation to be mechanech their kids not to do an isidraisa. They're not obligated right now, but when they become bar and bas mitzvah, mm-hmm. bachar, that would be an isidraisa. No, as an adult, if you want to doodle, mm-hmm. are you allowed to doodle the sun, moon, the stars? So again, there's no hetter of not being three-dimensional. Even two-dimensional is a problem. By the way, even the hetter that the Shah said of it not being, or the Shulchan Aruch, of it not being a Tzur mm-hmm. So the place can say that does apply as well to sun and moon and the stars. But, so therefore, in theory, let's say, okay, so let's go through some of the Like a half a sun. Oh, like so you have, let's say a sun, and the kid is a little bit more sophisticated, and the, the clouds are covering the a little part of the sun. Yeah. That, that won't be a problem because that's not a full picture of the sun. The moon, however, even part part of the moon is going to be a problem because that's the way we mm-hmm. perceive the moon, is in parts, it's right? It's different than like an image, especially a phone. Say it again? Why is it any different than taking a picture, holding a picture in your pocket, or having it? So, not real. So taking a picture of like, a moon. Picture, so as right? I mentioned before, a digital picture is mm-hmm. going to be much more lenient because it's, it's not real. It's not real. When you're when you're drawing, either even with the... Uh, with uh, crayons, you know, I'm saying it's it's elite. It, there's mamushes there, so that that that's an issue. Now, uh, what about like, a family picture, you have, it, you have it outside, and the sun is in the backyard, in the background. Right, you're actually hanging on right. the wall. Right, yeah, you're actually on the wall. Right, right. It's like that, that's right. really maybe it's there. <clears throat> there's a lot of times in those pictures that you could not really capture the sun. So you get blur. It's like right. It's big issue would be a moon than the sun. So it? let me give you some of that tear on the price. Can you say it's interesting? <laughs> the, when, let, let's go. Let's go extreme like let, let's let's think extra you know heavy duty chumrah okay what about even making cookies in the shape of stars mm. or the shape of a moon hmm? what's, the, what's the actual shape of a star yeah <laughs> okay it's so, that, so, so, it's, it's, so it's interesting it's interesting <coughs> it's all perception all fire, okay. it's all perception so the, the price can do say hmm. that the, what we think of as a star the five uh, point point 
that that's called that if you were to do that that would be a problem that would be a problem so but here here's a, a few of the heterim that, that call that that fall in and we're going to see that there's still going to be one glaring <laughs> issue number one one basic heter is the issue is not the shape the issue is making a representation of that celestial body right. when you're making cookies you're not trying to make the moon. You're just using the shape of the moon to make cookies. You understand? So you're copying the shape, but you're not, you're not trying to capture the image That's of the moon. That's not the point, right? So and point you're not number really one. capturing the image either. Right. I mean, in, in truth, it's, what, a, cookie. it's, it's a cookie. It's a cookie. Right? It's capturing the essence. Right. It seems right. like capturing the essence, the outside. So, so, so you're saying it's, it, it's irrelevant to actually get it. If your intentions are there, so we're gonna see. Okay, so let's step by step. So fact, three D printing on a cookie for the moon. Yes, an mm-hmm. image of that's close to the moon. Is so that, well, that, that if your intention is to make the moon, then yeah, it's a problem. Right. right. Yeah. So yeah. It, it, it becomes an artistic issue versus a cookie. Shape, shape of the moon is not gonna be more distinct. Right. Right. Well, we'll go, let's go step by step. Number one, if it's just the shape, not a problem. Or your cookies for the place. There is there is a a hefter from Ramisha. Ramisha was asked this. Ramisha was asked this. Is there a problem? Of having, of having children uh, draw pictures of the sun, the moon, and so on. So Ramesha said, "It's in it's in Chelkein uh, or Chaim." Ramesha says, uh, "Yeah, l'chayre, it's a problem." Again, they're they're not chayiv mitzvahs in terms of chinuch. Mm-hmm. You know, it'll be a problem. Ramesha says the only hetter that he can think of, because again, in that case, it's not just the shape; they're they're trying to <coughs> to, yeah, to, re, to make a representation of it. The, really so he says the world. only hetter that he that he writes over there is. If they're not very good at drawing, then you might know that what they're trying to make is the sun and the moon, but you're only picking that up because you know what the kid's trying to do. You see the grass over there. Yeah, you sort of figure. But if, if, if you were just shown that by itself, you would have no reason to think that that little yellow ball is the sun. I mean, it's just, there's, there's no clear indication of it being the sun. And if the kid, therefore, is not a good drawer like that, then technically it wouldn't it wouldn't be a problem. It says Ramisha. Uh, Ramisha says, but Ramisha, if the kid's a little bit older and more sophisticated, and you talk and make him mad, then that's, that's a it's a problem. It's a problem. It's a chinuch to be able to to have that. So, uh, you know, so let's say in the, in the case that you gave of where you're actually taking a photograph and it's not, you know, it's a real thing. So again, <clears throat> owning it is not going to be a problem. Then you're falling into the Marsayan issue. There's no Marsayan nowadays. The issue is going to be. Developing, taking and developing and so on. So, so again, if it's if it's something that's not uh, clearly the sun, in other words, it's just light in the background, and just if you isolate that, you wouldn't necessarily know what it is. Then maybe it's uh, it's not a problem. It wouldn't be a problem if it's mamish uh, the sun and the moon. Then maybe making it would be uh, would be an issue. Isn't there a component of tafel and maker? The sun is not the shot. The, the, the family is the shot. It's not. You're not. It's, it's not your intention. To, 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 hard to, know. to make an image of the of the of the, of the, of the sun. It's sort of like it's hard a complimenting feature of the, of the, the... When it comes to pictures, though, when it comes to the sun, you're really never going to capture the sun. You're capturing right. so the light. That's the point, right. It's light. It's moon not, is a bigger issue, theoretically. Mm-hmm. I'm on like Porch Land and beautiful sunset. You go take it and somebody... Right. You know, they are so good. take a picture of the sun and you put it in the sky. It's like a mice. It's not a mice. You're going to have to ask your local orthodox rabbit. It's not so posh. It's not so posh. To take a picture... To take a picture of a sunset. It has to be the full no, sun, right? It's the sun's partially You would have to be the full No, again, but that's true. It would have to be the full partially sun. below the horizon or whatever. It would be a full sun, right? Because as you saw, it yes. can't be partial. <clears throat> a full you take sun. It and print it on your printer. And uh, so that could be an issue. I, again, I'll be honest with you. It's interesting. I, I should have probably spent more time on the Michal Skis going to that Jew properly. I didn't. So I have to go back into that more specific picture that. Did not think we would be going into the picture. So yeah, okay. No, it's not a tangent, but I, you know, fine. So maybe I'll, I'll get back to you about the problem with that. But in theory, it would be an issue. In theory, again, not to own it, but to make such a picture would be an issue. The question is, like, at what point is it making it? You know, saying like, clicking it, nothing really happened. At some point, uh, printing it out. To somebody to do. Right, so, like so that's so that, right. So, so that, that, at some point, it, it, it might be an issue. Again, I'm not saying it's Osir. I'm saying Tzarechin. Not, not the Kveger Tzarechin, don't know answer, but it's, a, it's an actual Tzarechin. It's, it's, it's not a direct, it's not a direct. It's yeah. a shino. When you convert that digital image into a physical representation, you're not actually doing it with your hands. It's, it's, it's something, yeah, some, someone's pushing some button to make something happen. Right, you know right It's like right. Some, something, yeah. you know, it's machine boxes. Some, something's, yeah. you know, <laughs> it's doing something. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, so so let me let me. I, I mom just saw this, uh, you know, an hour and a half ago, um, and I, I thought it was a fascinating. What, what what we're left with is a little bit of uh, again the case of the, the taking a picture. This is maybe it's not good, something else to think about. But after Ramesh's tshuva, what still is glaring is like Ramesh and kids draw pictures of some like all the time, like you know, and no one ever thinks of it being like a problem. Like a problem. The only hetter is because if they're not such a good drawer. <laughs> you know, I, I saw I saw for example that Sitzel Yezer also he suggests that maybe usually when kids draw the sun, it's yellow. So I'm not, he said in the room the Sitzel Yezer suggests maybe the only issue is talking when it's sunrise and sunset when it's red. Mm. But if it's the wrong color, so maybe it's not an issue. Again, they're struggling to find a term yeah. for for the cases of kids. So you know, Rasalvechik was always very big into uh, the reverse Shachl used to say he says it's that uh, that uh, Salvation was always very fond of coming up with a, a cheshben to be matzik the tzibur. Whatever the Olam does, like to figure out, you have to legit. It has to be legitimate, but the, even a das yach, it's something to find out. You know, so let's try. So mamish uh, an hour and a half ago or so, I found um, in the Kamarna the end of Parshas Yisra. Okay. So now you, know, you think of Kamarna. <laughs> Kamarna was, was a Mekobol, uh, a Rebbe, but also a very big Paisik, and a big Mechadish. He was always off the beaten path. Like his, his Psakim, or his whole, his whole, his whole Sefer, like the Shulchan Aruch of Kamarna, where everything is like different than everyone else, you know? <laughs> not like, you know, they're still not filling, you understand, but like a lot of things that are, that are very different. So in the end of uh, Parshish Yisrael, he quotes uh, in, on that Pasuk, a tshuva that he wrote, a particular Rav, about this question of, uh, I think the issue that more he's talking about is having in a shul, they were making a, uh, like a, like a painted ceiling or something of the stars. Mm-hmm. So that's like, you know, so that could not be a problem. Mm-hmm. So again, I'm not saying, but it's just in making it, so, and also especially <laughs> in a shul, it's even a little bit more and not so nice. So there's a whole chew about that. But he comes with a, 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 a and it has to do with like getting to the fundamentals of what this is or is. So very quickly, it's already late, but he says as follows. Again, this whole time we've been, uh, you know, I've been repeating it, and you know that, that this is not an avodizar issue. It's not an avodizar issue. Now the truth is, it's not an avodizar issue, but this, this is in hilchas avodizar, right? Mm-hmm. Now in the shulchan aruch, maybe it's not so. Uh, he's not so mocked in terms of where things are placed. In the Rambam, this is in hilchas avodizar too. So there's something over here. So 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 he, he's machalish like this. It's a chiddush. He says as follows. He says the isra over here midaraisa. He, he has a chiddush, which is both creates chumras, but also kulas. In the Shulchan what we saw is that the only issue, the only images that are a problem is, again, the human, sun and stars, and so on. We want to make a lion, tiger, an elephant. It's not a problem at all. Says the Kamarna, not so posh, not so posh. The Kamarna says the Isr <laughs> over here is what's called an Isr Hagshama. The Isr is not just stop making images. Right? The issue, the Isr is taking something which is ruchni and physicalizing it, being magshin it. That, that's the issue. Now, said the Kamarna, when you do that to God, that's called the Vodizara. When you do that to other spiritual entities, it's not a Vodizara, that's this issue. Mm-hmm. So you're not serving it, and you're not seeing it as a deity. But any time you take a spiritual reality, and you are an, a spiritual entity, right, and you are materializing it, you're making it a physical re- representation, that's a bechina of a vadezar. It's within the parsha. It's the bezrayu. It's within that Indian of a vadezar. It's nisra hakshama. Now, because of that, the kamarna again, he has rises from midrashim. It's it's a whole pilpul over here. But basically, he's mechadish that if that's your intention, if your intention is when you're making a a a lion, you're making a statue of a lion, whatever it is. If your intention is that you know a lion down here has a mazel above, it has a malach in charge of it, it has a, 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 a spiritual root. If your intention is to just make a lion, then that's what the Shulchan is talking about. There's no problem with just making a lion. But if your intention is making a lion, Excellent. and by doing so you're trying to be magshin, the spiritual root of what a lion is, not for the purposes of serving, but for some reason you have this mishagas, you think it's going to bring kaiches, schools into your house, whatever it is. You know, that's the Isser of over here. That's the Isser over here. Now, that creates a huge Chumr. Well, it's maybe not so practical, but the, the Chumr is that really any image, if it's done with that intention, is going to be a problem. The Chiddush says the command of these particular images is that even if that's not your intention, 
That's what's happening. What's happening is, is when you make a humanoid form, or when you make the sun and moon, the stars, and so on, what's happening is, you don't think of it as just making a stop. So you are, you are, what you're doing is being magshin. You're doing something that is, if you did that to God, that would be making an avodah You're now doing that to not God, but a spiritual entity. The sun and the stars also, he, he talks about this, he has a, you know, he quotes from Rambams. This is one of those Rambams that scientifically we have a hard time with, but the Rambam talks about this, that the, the celestial bodies are li- living entities and their connection to their spiritual root is very strong. Uh, it's, it's a discussion in the beginning of the study of Torah, the Rambam. Okay, that's a discussion not for now, but it says the Kamarna, these images, sun, moon, stars, human, they're unique in terms of, again, not so much that that you ha- that you don't have to have that intention of trying to materialize and be magshin, their spiritual root. Automatically, that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. That's his chiddush. Okay. Now, based on that, I think you could come up with a heter for kids. Why? So, in the Shulchan Aruch, later on in Hechaz Avodah Zarah, we find this in a couple of places, that there is something unique that children are not considered to have enough das to create a desire. Uh, this Indian of something ruchni, that you're being magshen, it's not within the capabilities of children to be masik this and to activate it. The, the halacha later on is that, um, that we, we mentioned this before, there's a concept of bittel, right? You have an avadizar, a bona fide avadizar. So if a guy is mavatal it and says, ah, it's mishtoyas, right? Then it becomes not avadizar. The shulchan aruch paskins that the only people that are able to be mavatal avadizaras are people that are b'nei avadizar. You have like one of you have a gear taisha. He doesn't believe in Avodah Zarah, so he can't be Mavatl. It says the Shulchan Aruch, a shaita. He doesn't have to ask to be master what he's doing anyway, so it's not called Bittal. says the Shulchan Aruch, and a Kadin as well. A Kadin that says the Shulchan Aruch is not Yudeya Betiv Avodah Zarah. He doesn't chop the subtleties of what Avodah Zarah is. So because of that, he does, he's not in the parasha, so he can't be Mavatl. So you see, such a Musik is that the concept of what, what, is it, what does it mean that he can't be master of Avodah Zarah? What's so. What's so beyond his grasp? So you could, uh, there's different ways how to say it, but I think probably the most clear-cut way is that this Indian of there being an object that somehow is reflective of a spiritual truth and a spiritual mitzvah, in this that that's a esoteric idea that you need to have das in order to believe in, connect to, be shayach to. Ketan that don't have das, a shayach doesn't have das. This, they could see this object, they could be very sophisticated, but this Indian of being magshin, that they, they don't have the kaychas to do that. They don't have the seichel for that. That's not the kaych of das. That's true for Avodah Zarah. That's in Shulchan Aruch. Once the Kamarna says that this Isser of Leisasun Iti is basically that Indian, just not with God, with other spiritual entities, then you can, I think you can make a legitimate argument that Ketanim are not doing that Isser. In other words, we start with it. How, how, how can kids make, uh, make these things? <laughs> they, they, they're making the images, but that's not the Isser. Whereas the chinuch is, you can't be mechanic your kid to do something that if what he's doing is an iser. He, that's he's not doing the iser right now. He doesn't have the capabilities to be masik what he's doing, and that makes it, he's not being magshem right now. Yeah. It's true he's drawing a sun and the stars, and if he was an adult doing that, it would be hakshama. But why? Why if he's an adult doing it is hakshama even if they're not mechanic to it? What if they're specifically mechanic not to? It? So so right so he he discusses also, that yeah. he discusses that. Because again, it, it's going to be a little bit of a, of a of a hard thing because you do have the case of Rav Gamliel. Rav Gamliel is certainly not thinking Hakshama, but he says the the, the, the very fact that the, the mitzvahs of that celestial body, sun and the stars, is so connected with its mazel by making that uh, image of it down here, that's automatically considered to be Hakshama. But again, my suggestion is that when it comes to a child, you, you still have to be within the parsha of Hakshama. You still have to be in the parsha of Taking something that's ruchni and being magshin, you have to be a bardas to be masik that. What are the what are the? How do you go about doing that? By just by just drawing it and just be thinking that you're drawing that thing that appears in the sky over there. But but the process that's happening behind the surface, you know, uh, behind the scenes of that artistry is that you're really what you're really doing is taking something ruchni and being magshin it. That's Again, it's 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 trying to be matzik. It's all it's not, I'm suggesting it's not within the capability of a cotton to do. Not not only is he not conscious of this, because again, you're right. Even adult might be not be conscious of it. It's not within their capability of doing it. 
realm of possibility. That's why it was okay for our Arab Middle because he specifically wasn't doing it for that. He was doing it for to, with Islam. To, so, for, for so, a, a bar mitzvah, or he was doing it, uh, or, or like you said, there's a heter specifically if it's for. Uh, so it could be, and maybe the Gemara just means that it was a drabun, because the Gemara doesn't give that as an answer. Mm-hmm. That would be. Right, the Gemara, the, right, so maybe the, the answer the Gemara could have given an answer. The reason why he did is because he's not thinking Hakshama. So that's why the Gemara is saying that you don't have to be thinking it, but you at least have to be capable. have to be in the capable of of of, of being magshin. You have to be capable of of again not just being conscious of it. You have to be capable of 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 actually creating such a phenomenon. I'll give you an example. He um, he quotes a pasuk. It's interesting. He quotes a pasuk. It's in. Um, so later on, I'm not, I'm not saying anything, the Pasuk talks about when you get to Eretz Yisrael, so har grizman har evil. You're going to make uh, Klai Yisrael say curses. Ar ish. No. So one of the things is ar ish a shiyasa pesel masecha. Right? Referencing this law. Right? It says, ar, the curse is a person who makes these images. Asher tzkat. Kol t'muna. Kol asher tzilch Hashem lukech. Everything that Hashem commanded. So it's not even kol asher tzilch Hashem lukech. So it says the Kamaran, it's a man that's a chasid shavar. He says, the title of the Pasuk is, The Emes Tziva Hashem Lekecha Sha'ata Tiyat Muras Kol. The Rabbana Shalom wants you to be the embodiment of the, of the Oil Maruch. Mm-hmm. He says he wants you that Shekadish Kol Ever Sha'iyya, that every single limb that you have should be the embodiment of a, of a Ruchni stick of reality. When you make a movement, it should be Poyal Abag. Notice that the Yisoyed Isser is, even though, again, we're not saying that, that there's an actual materialization of Ruchnius that's actually happening, but Ki'ilu. We have to make it. Uh, uh, this the whole thing is, is belonging, right? So, but the Yisurim are as if it is real. So the Isser over here is as if there's an actual Hakshama taking place. And the Pasik is saying is that there is a concept of Hakshama. And the Rabbanu says, I want you to be Makshim. I want you to be the embodiment of Rochni. It's like, guess what? That's not like a When a Kadim does a mitzvah, it's not Poil. That's what makes him. That's a, that's why he's not having the mitzvah. Is because he can't be Poil. This the Indian of, mm. of taking something Rochni. And bringing it down to planet Earth and make and materializing it, right, that's not within the capabilities of a cotton. It's not within the capabilities of a cotton in Kedusha. And a male in Toma, it's not within his capabilities of, of pretending to do it. So even though it's true, the whole thing is a baloney with, with Toma. But that Indian that we're pretending exists, it's not within his capabilities to do. Again, it doesn't mean that an adult has to be conscious of it. Just like when we're picking up our hands, we're not conscious of what we're being piled either. But we are being piled. So in those, there's two separate things. To be conscious of it, you don't have to be conscious of it. But the Indian of taking something that's an oil ha'elion and bringing it down to planet Earth, that you have to be capable of doing. And that's something that you need Das to do. Kitanim or not Dea to do this. So when you go back to the case of, of Chinuch, it, 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 it's, it, it's not a violation of Chinuch because what the kid is doing is not the Isser. The Isser is Hakshama. He's not capable of that. All he's capable of doing is drawing a doodle. That's all he's capable of doing. So it has nothing to do with the fact that uh, it's not as good a picture, a rendering, and so on. It, 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 this is not hakshon. It's the whole not hakshon. Yeah. If kids are not capable of being piles, then why should this be different than any other iser when it comes to kind of like why if a child not to be mechal shabbos because they're, what they're doing doesn't really have an effect of mechal shabbos anyway. It's true. So so there's always two things. There's uh, if you were to do this in a few years from now, it would be a problem. But what he's doing has to be, has to be the iser, you know what I'm saying? So like the kid right now is is, is, is mowing the grass on Shabbos. Okay, mowing the grass. What he's doing now is exactly what he would do later on. And that's the problem. So it's a problem. And now this is not because just because it's, it's because not the same it's, act. It's not the same act. There's two different things. Do this There's exactly making a doodle. It would be, be a problem. Yeah. So that, Technically, in chitzonius, but that's not what he, that's what's happening. Yeah, it's, not it's not the definition of the act. Uh, yeah, you could you, know, you could make the argument that avol piki in chinuch means just the act. Yeah, yeah, take care of that. But again, to be matzik the tzibur is that, 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 that it's not the same definition of the act. It's a different it's a movement. The movement is it's a the very same. It's, not, it's not just the act. That's the, I mean, it, 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 it is, but it's, 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 it's the act. This act that he's doing. This act. The only thing that's making it not an aver is the fact that you're not old enough. But the, the, everything else has to be in place. And he doesn't have the to, 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 to do what he's doing. That's not the issue. According to the commander, the, 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 the issue is the. Uh, 
and the essence, I know, in a way, the essence of, of, of embodying this celestial event. So anything else that does it, like the like, like, horoscope, Mazalas, would be an actualization of, 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 of a realization of a celestial event. Or a, so th- technically a horoscope or, or, or something, the Mashikazet could be in the same. Saying, saying is there, is there. So the question is, how do you expand? I mean, technically, it, you know, it still happens. <laughs> well, horoscopes are specifically measured. The the the, the, the measure the mazolas. So how has a practical application in something? Like what does that mean? You're looking at people, people, people. There are there are monkhes, people who look up horoscopes and they look at, at the mazolas and the trines and, the, and, the, and, the, and the, oh, so that's true. So looking up your, you know. Your Mazel. horoscope, whatever it is, yeah, that 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 there's other issues that might be more uh, straightforward. And that there's Tamti or Shmuel Kecha. There's other the Ramban family. It's in Shulchan Aruch. The Shulchan Aruch. No, no, just just okay. So that's besides the point. But again, there are people who just who look it up like as a personality trait type of thing. So you're embodying the shtickle. What that? <laughs> so that's the question. question. How much do you expand this? I mean, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, that we have already examples in Shulchan Aruch of, of the Ramban writes this in a Sederaisa according to Ramban to act upon. A horoscope. Yeah, well, right. that'll be that'll be fun. You want to learn? Uh, okay, it's a little bit of waste of time, but rather. Really, I know people who are like very. No, people 